So guys, this new project, RoboHero just launched. It just been listed on TerraSwap and it's looking very, very promising. In this video, we're gonna take a look at its details because it's not actually that pumped uh, because of the current market situation. Like you all know, this might be still a very nice opportunity. And I've been waiting for the listing of this project because many people could get wrecked at the listing date and buy at the first pump. But before we start this video, I'm not a financial advisor and this video is only for educational and entertaining purposes. Always do your own research, Dior. Also guys, before we start, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you are into crypto, if you are into new project, just listed or projects that are just about to launch. And now let's just start. Project is Robo Hero, and this is the first mobile game completely compatible with Terra blockchain. This is already on rank number number nine. So this is a huge blockchain with market capitalization of 28 billion US dollars. So first things first, what is actually Robo Hero? This is a mobile game based on NFTs. So this game is play to earn. Also, from what they say, they provide uh, some unique DeFi tools. So it looks like these robots are gonna be your NFTs, and you're gonna be playing with these NFTs, and they're gonna be PVPs other players you're gonna be upgrading your nfts with special nft cards on their own nft marketplace so far they plan to do two modes play to earn pvp so you fight in the metaverse so if you don't want to invest and buy nft you can watch some ads and thanks to this you'll earn luna energy that will allow you to play this game as well if you don't know Polish developers are one of the best in the world when it comes to gaming industry. So they actually have some big, big partners. First of all, Starterra, actually the most popular launchpad for Terra Network. Playnity, another very popular launchpad for gamify projects. Partners are also investors. If partners are also invested in the project, they're just simply more motivated to work on that. When you look at the team, COO is uh, is actually owner of youtube channel so this is the channel of coo because he can take this entire community and advertise the project on his youtube channel here are these robo heroes like you can see this is how basically it looks like and this is what you're going to be allowed to buy on the marketplace here's the equipment you're going to be able to improve your nfts and make it better fight against other players and earn more tokens right? this is basically the entire concept of the game so here's the tokenomics and the first appearance is very fair because the tge is only 10 percent for seed investors too high tge or no vesting it very often makes people dump the price private price per token is one cent public price per token is 0 0.012 listing price is 0 0.013 so if you take a look now it's not even 2x from the listing price all right so it has still a long long way to go team tokens are locked up for nine months developers six months marketing partners three months if you want to take a look at more details i'm leaving you a link down below in the description where you can see all the details all socials of this project in each project the most important thing is utility farming you're going to be upgrading purchase robo boxes uh, play to any rewards staking in-game features buy and sell your items for all of these things you're going to be needing this rubble token here's the roadmap and there is going to be soon probably this watch to earn app development so we're going to be earning rewards and tokens only for watching ads and there's going to be mvp rubble here on google play finally in stage four the first gameplay video so now let's come back to the main side and here is the mark they're only free so far on the main side and some improvements which make your nft better so in six stage this game is going to be available on app store and google play finally so this may be the most important stage for this project then everybody is gonna see if people are willing to play this game or no it's still very early stage it's before the game even released it's before it's even listed on centralized exchanges let's take a look at their most important social media channels twitter they have 30,000 followers telegram 8,000 members and on discord 960 members people from the private say like you can see we receive 10 percent of tokens to their wallets so this is what we talk and people from the public sale will receive 15%. Here's some instruction how you can add robot token to your Terra Station wallet. And here's the first time when they show you in 3D this model of the NFT. Let me let me show you. Yeah, this so this is basically how the first 3D model looks like. To sum it up, gaming industry is not going anywhere. Because still, if you don't believe in NFTs, uh, and many people are very skeptical about this, I see very big utility in NFTs when it comes to the gamify projects when it comes to the play to earn industry of course it needs some time to go into mainstream but in my opinion it is the future that was 720,000 USD 
rise on this platform plus six month vesting and the token price was 0.012 it's only 2x and 85 percent of tokens for these investors are low so this is it for this video thanks for watching and see you in another one